Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Life with the Senders. So as you can see from the title of this video, today I am going to be going over all of our must-haves that we had when we had Nova. So I thought it was really important to come on here and do this video because if you're like me, when I was a first-time mom, like trying to figure it out, I know I really was just doing a lot of research and then there's a million different products for one type of thing and you just really want to get you know what's best for your babe so i just thought i'd come on here and show y'all the things that we chose what worked for us and some of the things that didn't work for us so let's get into it so i think first we should start with sleeping so nova um we did have a bassinet for her we use the ingenuity um bassinet and it's the one that grows with them so it's the one that's adjustable you can like bring it up really high or you can bring it low and then it also like turns into a playpen and we chose that bassinet because it could grow with her but like once she got here and we started using it I don't think like I would get it again, honestly. <laughs> I started to get the Halo bassinet, um, but I ended up not getting it because the, the Ingenuity bassinet was gifted to us. So of course I'm like, okay, we'll use this one. But it was really hard to work with, especially um, like in the middle of the night, like trying to feed her, getting her in and out of it was kind of a hassle. Like I literally had to get up all the way out of the bed like reach down and get her out um and in that beginning stage when i first got home from the hospital like that was tough because i was really sore i was still in a lot of pain and honestly when shopping around you know you really didn't i anyway didn't really think about it that way so i know like for in the future like i wouldn't repurchase that best in it honestly i would prefer something that that either um, you know how to have the kinds that you can just push up to the side of your bed or that lowers on the side. Something that makes it easier to get access to baby, especially if you're breastfeeding, even if you're not breastfeeding, if you're, even if you're bottle feeding, you still have to get that baby out the bassinet and feed her. So another thing though that we did really love for her as far as sleeping was the Snuggle Me organic we um ended up getting it to put inside of her bassinet because the bassinet it was like kind of hard surface and it wasn't like you know snuggly and cozy so we got the snuggle me and you know you do what's best for your babe that's that's how we used it um and it worked for us but we put the snuggle me inside of her bassinet and I'll insert a clip, but she just, she loved it. Like, I think it made her feel like, you know, hugged and like she was really close to somebody. So Snuggle Me Organic is a must. Boppy Lounger, we didn't necessarily use it for sleeping per se, because uh, for her, I know some babies do sleep in the Boppy Lounger, but no, but then it was just not a sleep spot for her. But we did use it like just for when we was just chilling around the house and not trying to be like holding her all day. Next thing for sleeping would be blankets. So I mean, we got a lot of different kinds of blankets. We got like plush blankets. We got like the muslin blankets, like these, that like muslin kind of material. And preferably I like these because they're like not too thick and they're not too thin we had nova in the summertime so we really was trying to make sure that, that she was comfortable like temperature wise and then we also have like these kind of cloth like um blankets and then like i said we also have like um, a few plush like thicker plush um blankets that she loved because they're like snuggly and, and cozy so so yeah must have would be blankets the next must have for Nova would be a swaddle. Now, my baby girl did not like to be swaddled from day one. Like in the hospital, how they swaddled up in her blanket, she didn't like it. And then when we got home, we were trying to swaddle her. She was not feeling it. So we were like really trying to find what worked for her, trying to help her sleep better. 
we had took her out of the swallow but then of course that startled reflex she kept waking herself up throughout the middle of the night so it was like that's not working but she wouldn't stay in her swaddle that wasn't working so these were the um instead of the blanket kind we got these these are by swaddle me and these are the velcro swaddle so you can just put baby in there and then you see you like put the legs in there and then you just swallow them up and then it also has this little opening in the back where you can check like their diaper to see um if their diaper needs to be changed or not so this was what we used at first until we started using it and then in the middle of the night when i had to change and feed her that velcro was loud and it woke her up so i was like i don't really like these either so i was started doing some research on the swaddles and this is what we end up getting i love these this is the um love to dream swaddle nova from very from like day one she came at the hospital she was asleep like that like with her arms up already so when we switched to these she loved them she started sleeping so much better so i definitely recommend these and they come in like newborn and i think newborn is like a small i think they have extra small this one is a medium so and another thing that I like about this one, like she used them for a while, like a couple of months until she started rolling and stuff and we transitioned her and it was easy to transition with these because you can take off the arms. Yes. Just like that. So when we started transitioning her, we took out one arm and we let her sleep like that for a little while. And then when we were comfortable, we took out both arms and then it kind of like became like a sleep sex. But yeah, but for zero to three months, if, you're, if your baby is anything like my baby girl and they're not feeling the swaddle, you're not feeling the Velcro, this is an alternative, like any it zips. It's, it, was a, it was a win. I could easily unzip it here, change her, zip it back up, bam, put it back in her bassinet. She was good um last for the sleep part of this would be sleepers and this is a sleeper that's from carter's i'm just going to show you like the different styles of sleepers because when i first started shopping for sleepers i didn't pay attention to like the logistics of the sleeper it was just like oh you know this is cute i'm gonna get it but then when baby gets here and you start having to like maneuver with that sleeper, you start having to change diapers and stuff with that sleeper and really work out with it. That's when, you know, the type of sleeper you get becomes important. So I'm showing you this one from Carter's because this is the type of sleeper that has two zippers. It has a zipper here. And then it also has a zipper at the foot. And I love these because, like, of course, for those uh, middle of the night changes, all I got to do is unzip that little foot, change her, zip her back up, and she good to go. But then when I'm really ready to take it all the way off, all I got to do is unzip that one zipper, and she's out. Now, this one from, and I love these too, but I love that style better. This one is Cloud Island. It almost has that style, but the difference is this one only has one zipper. And you have to zip it up from the foot, right? And you would just stop to change it and zip back down. But then when you want to take it all the way off, you have to zip it all the way up to the top and it comes in part. The only difference with this one is that you have to hook this back you know when you're ready to start back zipping and sometimes like in the middle of the night say she had a poopy diaper she messed up through her sleeper i gotta change her in the middle of the night like it was hard to see this to do that like you know trying to keep the light nice and dim and not really wake her up 
a lot that's the only thing about that one and then you have these types of uh, sleeper where it's buttons so that that's a little tedious too they be cute and all like this one is really cute i love it it's soft it's comfy but them buttons okay so be mindful of that so next thing for sleep is this night light i found this night light on amazon and i absolutely love it because it has two different settings it had like a warm setting and a cool setting and it lights up really bright and then you can make it really dim so this is like the warm setting and it can get really bright or dim or you can really make it really bright so i love these especially like for in the middle of the night for like those diaper changes i can just put this on like right down at the bottom like where i'm changing her and then tip it back off i don't have to like put on the, the actual like even like the night light or the room light that came in handy and of course you know your girl got to have that white noise machine so we've been using our white noise since nova was in day one in the hospital we introduced her to the white noise i wanted her to go ahead and like get used to it and know oh i didn't try to turn off but that was sleep time but yes but yeah so she loves her noise machine now she's so used to it when we come into her room i hit that tap like she she knows like that's the, that means sleep time so i love the hatch um baby rinse white noise machine it has a lot of different sounds, settings, colors. You can really just customize it and personalize it for you and baby. So, yeah. Next thing on the baby must-haves. This is going to be stuff that's like, you know, you just got to have it. You can't live without it. And, of course, there will be like your diapers, wipes, passies, bottles, all of those things. And for us, we use Pampers, Pamper Swaddler um, diapers, and we use the Pamper Sensitive Wipes. You know, that's just personally, that's the brand that I chose. It's the brand that I love, and it's the brand that works for us. And for her bottles, oh, we it was some trial and error. When Nova was first born, we used the Avent bottles. And then she started having like a lot of gas and um, colic. So we switched to the Dr. Brown's bottle. She didn't really like those and they leaked a lot. Ended up using the MAM anti colic bottles for her and those worked really well. They had no leakage. They reduced like those, like getting that gas um, into her system. So she really loved those. And so, therefore, we ended up also using the MAM pacifiers, which she also really loved. I'm just going to go into, like, the, um, like, I guess, like, health and safety. I don't know. Um, like, just some other stuff that you would just need to have for a baby. Um, one thing that we had on deck was gripe water. I had just heard about it, like, you know, um, when I was pregnant with her, like, in a lot of doing a lot of research and mom blogs and stuff, I was like, make sure you have this quart water, make sure you have quart water. I'm like, I'll get it, but I didn't really know if we would use it or not. And we did, because um, Nova did have a lot of gas and some fussiness, and she hiccuped a lot, a lot. So, gripe water was definitely a must-have for us in the Sanders home. Also, what we wanted to have on hand, like I said, Nova had a lot of gas, so we used these Mylacon gas drops. I found that these work better than um, Little Remedies. That's who we had at first, and I know a lot of people boasted about the Little Remedies. That's why we tried it, but they, like, literally did not help her at all. But the Mylacon, these work. We also used the Gerber Soothe um probiotic drops for her tummy and we like to i like to get the ones with the vitamin d that way like that just saves me having to do two different um drops of bottles like i, I can get all i need in this one thing because you know nova is breastfed so she has to get that vitamin d another thing you want to keep on hand 
is some diaper rash cream. I use the Aqua Pore brand for the diaper rash cream. Works pretty well for me. I try to go ahead and put it on there. Like if I see that she even looks a little irritated, like I'm putting it on there to just go ahead and like prevent it from becoming like a full blown rash. I also love this Aqua Four um, baby um, ointment. So it's really good to have on hand as well. Like I use this for um, diaper rash or for like if her skin is irritated or really dry. I use that. Um, next is this little safety kit. Um, I bought one of these. This is the thing that where it comes with like the nose bulb. It comes with a like fingernail file, fingernail clip um thermometer like all of those little safety things that you want to have on hand like a medicine um dropper yeah so we keep that on hand as well i i know like i said we have like the nose bug but i'm a nose freedom mama <laughs> let me tell you before i had nova like i would see um people using this or like i would see commercials about it i was like ain't no way i'm finna be sucking snot at my baby nose and then i was like mm -mm, ugh, that's nasty i'm not doing it i'm just gonna use the child that child got here and when you learn that like the only way your baby don't have to breathe is out of their nose i was like let me get up in there and get all you got out because I needed my peace of mind to know like that she was breathing. Otherwise, like I could just sit there and walk, stare up all night while she slept. So uh, yeah, I'm a nose freedom girl. Like I prefer the nose freedom and I would use this boogie mist. I would like put that in her nose first to like just break it, like break all the little gunk up in there and, and then suction it out and it worked like a charm and it was no fuss like she she didn't fuss or cry about it like I, maybe it just relieved her because she it didn't bother her at all next thing i love if y'all baby like mine like her nails grow so fast it's like i would literally file them down today and they will be back tomorrow but i like this um electric nail file especially you know, when they first get home from the hospital, you know, that's your little baby. They so tiny. And I know they be like, babies are not fragile. They're stronger than you think. I get it. But as a first time mom, like I said, your peace of mind in that stage is like everything. So I just used a nail filer because it gave me some peace of mind. Like I know it didn't hurt her. I know I couldn't like pinch her skin or anything. So this is what I use. And I got this off of Amazon. Another thing that I forgot to mention were bibs. Like, we really didn't even have a lot of bibs and birth cloths and stuff when we had Nova. I don't know. I guess we just didn't think about it. But then when she got home, she came here speeding up like it was nobody's business. So we quickly, like, invested in some bibs. There are a thousand types of bibs. There's bandana bibs. There's a whole bunch of bibs. But uh, what worked for us were these. I just really like the nice thick cloth bibs like if she was to spit up or when she's drooling it don't like soak through and get her clothes all wet um it's not like irritating or anything like that they're very comfortable and they just soaks everything up so yeah and these are the burp cloths that i like um they're just a pack that i bought off of amazon i think they come like 10 in a pack I really like these. They're nice and soft. Like when you're want, you using burp cloths, you want something that's nice and soft and that'll be gentle, like on your baby's skin. Cause you like using it to, you know, wipe their mouth and you really don't want anything rough. So these are the burp cloths that we used. Okay, just to mention some other must haves for your baby. Um, definitely like the um, baby wrap. We use the one by, I think it's Ingenuity um and the katan baby wrap i had so two kinds i had the katan and the one by ingenuity i'll try to put a picture so you can see the difference in which one i'm talking about because the katan was more like i wore in the very beginning stages and my husband would wear the um 
ingenuity um baby wrap but yeah definitely a must have like when you're around the house trying to get stuff done especially when they're in that new baby phase you want to be able to just put them on wear them and still be able to get some stuff done that you need to get done another thing is her changing pad we loved the skip hop changing pad i actually liked it because it was just so easy to clean you can just wipe it down really quickly and maybe be good to go like unlike the cloth kind of like changing pads where you if a mist or something was to happen you gotta take it off you gotta wash and wash and wash i just didn't really want to have to do that so we love the skip hop changing pad and we use the ubi um diaper pail and i really like that one as well because it masks the smell like when you come in her room it don't smell like she just had a poopy diaper even if she might have but the ubi diaper pail really mask smelling like you can use your own bags like it's a traditional trash can so i also like the fact of not having to continuously buy special bags for the diaper pail okay and last but not least really quickly i'm just going to talk about bath time um for nova we use the um i don't even know like the actual name but it's the little flower that you can put inside the sink and you can take their bath i absolutely loved it like it was so convenient you can just take it out pop it in the sink run the water wash it up hang it up to dry or you could throw it in the in your dryer to dry um and she actually loved it along with that we used the avino um like body wash and lotion for her and she did really well with that we definitely needed something that was gentle on the skin but yet very moisturizing and i think that is everything i feel like i talked about like a whole bunch of stuff but i mean in reality they just need a lot <laughs> and i really didn't realize that until i had my own dark my own kid yeah babies need a lot you know i remember in my beginning stage I'm like i was really starting to get overwhelmed by like all of the baby stuff because there is so much out there there's so many different products there's so many different kinds but just breathe because the most important thing that the baby needs is a happy mommy happy daddy like just prayer tender love and care <laughs> so provide that most of all to your baby and your baby will be good so thank you all for, you know, watching this video. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.